So I think this comment here is a common sentiment that I have heard recently that the nuclear plants around the United States are aging and therefore falling apart and having more and more tritium leaks over time. But is that actually true? So I took all of the data of the tritium releases that happened over time and charted it out here. Interesting thing you can see is in 2010, there was a dramatic peak with five spills in one year. This didn't go unrecognized by the NRC and the industry as a whole. At that time, they came together and they said, you know what? We need to decrease the number of tritium spills that happen on nuclear plant sites. This led to a very noticeable decrease in the number of tritium spills happening at nuclear plants. In fact, it went down to zero until this year for seven years in a row. This is something that you see in the nuclear industry. When they notice any trends of things happening, the nuclear industry takes action to make sure that this trend is either decreased or things don't happen again. A big example of that is Three Mile Island. The industry recognized we need to do a change, and they changed. This is very similar to what happens in other industries. Car industry has gotten a lot safer over time, as well as the airline industry, and it's a result of the industry making change based off of things we've learned in the past, as well as increased regulations. So I wouldn't say that this is a sign of an aging fleet that we need to ratchet up our regulations for for the nuclear industry. I would say the nuclear industry has done very well at decreasing its tritium leaks.